Okay, now uh, what we're going to do, we've dried this really well, no glaze, and now what we're going to do is put on the first transparent layer. Um, it's going no, I'm sorry, it's going to be an opaque layer, but we have to put it on transparently and layer it. That makes sense. Um, this is uh, one of the um, methods that the Venetian artists had, and this is where they apply uh, a lighter color very thinly over dark, so it's light over dark. And um, our directions say to use a an eight or a ten filbert. I'm going to use this mop. It's a filbert shape, it's, and it's very soft. And because I I have trouble with being a heavy hand, so I'm going to kind of help myself a little bit by using this filbert. So again, we want to put a, a thin coat of extender. And we're going to do this over the entire area of the sky. Making sure I have good coverage, but it is thin coverage. Okay. And we're going to use. Um, medium gray value 6 and so I'm gonna I got a little bit of light on that side so I'm just gonna put this more on this edge so and it's really 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 important for the darker layer to show through and we kind of want this to get, have a pearly look. And so I'm just going to kind of scrub this in. The fact that we have the um, extender on there. helps our paint to move. So I'm really stretching this paint, making it go really far so that it, it is transparent. This area, I'm going to really have to stretch it. <laughs> okay. Maybe just pull some of that back off right there. It's better. Keep moving. And I kind of think my dumb blender might be doing a little better blending job for me. I like that. Turn this around. And just got this one other side to go. Um, I'll put some more. I'm going to put some more extender on it because it feels like that this area is dried. Let's get a little more.
Now it does show up more on the dark, but you still have to be very, very careful so you don't lose your transparency, especially on this first layer because this is not the only layer we're going to put on here. Okay, now you're going to need to dry this and then we will put on another layer. Same way, very transparently. Now, see it does give this a nice pearly look and uh, it's really nice because you see all of this dark background showing up and it really does start to give the look of a very cloudy sky. I really, really like this technique. Okay, I'm going to put a coat of extender on here and uh, after I, we did the first uh, layer then I realized that I forgot to add the, uh, the blue mix in with this uh, gray so uh, we're going to do it this time. We're going to add, add it to this. So let's put this extender on. Now I'll take uh, the brush that I had, it's kind of messy now, but I'm going to use it and I'm going to dress it in the medium gray and in the blue mix. So I'm going to brush mix those together right here. And let's put the second layer on. Stretching that paint. Make sure you don't leave any spaces that are white. You, know, get, you can even come down here and kind of go over those buildings just a little bit. I'm sure that won't hurt. Okay. Well, actually, I see some places down here that I did miss. Okay. Now that's better. We can see that blue in there. But because I didn't uh, get the blue in there on that first um, layer, I'm gonna just go ahead and come back in here with a little, a little more of it here and there.
to make sure that we have it on there because it should have been mixed in with the first layer. It's trying to get dry on me. 